Hey guys, Jim here. So uh, today I want to do a really quick video to sh talk, just talk about how you can snap objects together. I don't know if you've ever wanted to actually move an object to another object. And you can, of course, you know, it's easy to do it if you're actually in edit mode and all that and you want to just move vertices around. That's a lot easier. But if you just want to move an object and make sure that it's properly aligned, like for instance, these two lids, uh, these are little 3D printed lids that I've created. And if I want to snap one on top of the other, that can be a quite a bit more difficult. Because if I go into my snap mode and say vertex closest and just turn it on and say, gee, you'll see that, you know, I'm trying to line it up and it's trying to snap everywhere, but it's not giving me the place that I want to snap. So that's not going to work. So how do I do it? Well, uh, there's an easy way and there's a hard way. Let me go through the hard way first, which doesn't require any add-ons. And by the way, I know there's all kinds of add-ons to, to uh, uh, make this easier, but I've got one add-on that I've been using that Jerry turned me on to for year, years ago. And I'll share that with you here at the end. But, uh, but the easy, uh, the hard way, uh, and it's not that hard, but what you want to do is you tab in here and we're just going to go into vertex mode. We're going to select a single vertex, right? And then under mesh, we're going to say snap cursor to select it. So we've just moved the cursor here. Now we tab out of this and now under object, we're going to say set origin for this object to the 3D cursor. Now the origin is set to this for this object. As we can see, as we move it around, you see, there's there's the origin dot right there. So that's the first step. Now the next step is we're going to go in here and we're going to set the snap mode to active and not closest. So it means it's the active origin on here. And I'm going to turn this off, the snap off, because I like doing it with the control key. So I'll just move this down. I'll kind of get it, you know, close to where I want where I want it first. You know, I always do that just because it seems to make it easier. And then I'll zoom in on it. And then, you know, we'll hit the G key. And then as we're moving around, hold the control key down. And now we're snapping. And you can see that we snap exactly to where we want to be. And then if we want to, we can come back up here and say object set origin to geometry, which is going to put it in the center. And by the way, here there's two things. There's the median center or the bounds. I always like put it in the bounds center. Just It can give you a little bit of some unexpected behavior if you use the median center. So, and, and that's really it. And then, you know, you can always go back in and move the origin back to the center. So now that's the first way. So let's talk about the other way I like to do it. And that is we just go in here and I use this add-on called snapping files. And I'll put a, post a link into the description of the video uh, of where you can get this. And it's a little add-on that was made by Jerry's team, that, that, which is the hard ops team quite a while ago, right? Don't forget to save, save purposes. And what it does is it replaces the shift S menu with this new one. And what's cool about it is when I tab into this, I can go over to any object, any place I want. Like if I want to go, let's, 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 let's move to, uh, one over here, like this one. And then I can say shift S and I can say origin to selection. So that does, takes care of actually two steps, right? So we actually ended up, you know, we didn't need to move the cursor and we just moved the origin directly there. And then of course we can say G again, hold the control key down and just snap to where we want it to be. And we're going to line up perfectly. So anyway, those are the two ways to do it. It's a really quick video, but I just thought I'd share that because a lot of times, you want to do exact snaps and it's kind of difficult to figure out if you don't really know your way around some of these things. So thanks for watching. We'll see you online.